Hello, and in this tip of the week, we're going to cover adjusting room spaces and boundaries in Revit Architecture and MEP. Uh, sometimes you come into a situation where you need the room to jump walls, but by definition, the rooms are actually defined by walls themselves. So how can we make the rooms act the way we want to? So let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to switch on over to Revit Architecture. And I'm in architecture now, but this actually has to do with MEP also. MEP uses spaces. Spaces relate to rooms and to walls. Now, the whole game here is, is the walls themselves. For instance, when I roll over this mechanical room, and you'll notice when the X pops up, notice the blue line, it's the boundary. Notice that the blue boundary goes around and actually jumps over that one wall here. So if this was, let's say, a restroom, you wanted this to be one space. And uh, you'll notice that that blue line jumps over that wall. How does that happen? How do we get that to happen? Well, in the architectural model, uh, or in you can be an MEP or any other application, what we need to do is we need to define the walls as a non-boundary wall. So let's take a look. When we select the wall, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Element Properties. In here you'll see Room Bounding. So if we turn this off, it tells Revit to ignore that wall when it's trying to find the boundaries. So it jumps to the next wall. So if you have, let's say, uh, toilet petitions that were actually created using uh, wall types, you just need to go tell those walls that they're non-bounding, and then the space will fill in. So let's, let's uh, turn this room bounding on and see what happens. Uh, notice what happened. Now the space has jumped, and now it's outside the room, so notice it's only in this room. So now we're going to try to uh, fill this space and this space here. So to do that, I'm going to first of all highlight the wall, right-click, go to Element Properties, I'm going to tell this to not be a bounding wall anymore. So it goes, think of the AutoCAD hatch. It fills out to the edges of all the boundary, uh, the bounding walls, excluding that one. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to grab this wall. I'm going to hold the control key down. I'm going to grab this wall. So I'm two more walls. And I'm going to right click, element properties, and I'm going to tell it, hey, no bounding walls there either. We hit OK. And you'll see how it again fills that space in. So these walls become invisible, in essence, to the room. So once we've done that, I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go up top, and I'm going to hit Save. Now, if we want to split a room on the other side, let's say I want to take this janitor room. One half is going to be, let's say, a copy room, and one half is going to be the janitor's room, uh, whatever it may be. We go up top, and under Home tab, we go over here, and we have Room. Now, underneath it, you'll see Room Separation Line. But you don't see anything about uh, editing or defining the actual line itself. That's done by the walls, as we've done a moment ago. Room separations, let's fire this off. Uh, if we leave it here for a second, it shows you a quick example. And I'm going to fire it up. And what I do is I just draw a line from here to here, or wherever it may be, even on angle, doesn't really matter. And you'll see that, that the room now has been truncated. So if I roll over, see how this room has been highlighted. We now have a space here. So if I come in here and say, OK, I want to add a room, I can bring it in there and drop it. And you'll see the new room drops in. So uh, that way we have edited the room. This one is now bleeds over walls, and this one actually uh, separates without walls. So let's save it. Now I'm going to jump over the MEP version. I'm going to hit Control-Tab um, and see if we can jump right through here. And we'll jump over to MEP. Now in the MEP version, we're going to bring this in, and we're going to open up this model. Now this model's been linked in uh, using Revit links. And the spaces that are being bind use that other one. You'll notice what comes up here. It says multiple spaces are in the same enclosed region to correct it. So what's come up, it's coming up is we've got problems because we changed the spaces in the previous uh, in the, the source file. So I'm just going to tell it to delete spaces right now. Okay, and we'll hit OK. Now the spaces are in, still in the model. And I don't know why Revit does this, but you have to go to the schedule to remove them. We'll hit OK. Now when it comes in, you'll see the spaces are actually going to fire up, and I'll zoom on in here. Uh, now you'll notice that in this scenario, you'll notice that that space is actually filled in. And notice how this space has now been cut. So by using the tools, which are the uh, room boundary tools, and if I'm in, let's say, uh, MEP now, and I need to define it, I can open up the base model, Okay, uh, go to the Architect tab, and you'll see we have room tools here. So you can add separation lines using MEP uh, and you can also again edit the walls just like we did so uh, there's the trick to dealing with uh, spaces and rooms and just uh, one last thing here notice how the room is actually filled all the way in here I'll show you how we can make it let's say fill into all these rooms over here so let's come and take this wall and actually uh, 
remove it uh, until it is non-bounding. You'll see the mechanical jump over. So we'll go back to architecture. We're back in architectural file. I'm now going to um, grab this wall. I'm going to say non-bounding. But let me first take these rooms out of here. It's going to get upset with all these rooms. So let me just delete this room. Okay. And I'll delete this room. Now, uh, delete that line. Okay. Now I'm going to tell this wall that it's non-bounding. So room bounding. Nope. We hit OK. You'll see how it bleeds over. Okay. Uh, we save that file. All right. Now, at this time, we've uh, made that adjustment. We'll go back to the MEP. Here we are. And at this time, we will go up and uh, go to, let's say, Manage Links. Okay. We're going to grab it, and we're going to reload it. Hit OK on that. Okay, we get in that warning again saying, hey, some spaces have changed. I'll hit delete spaces. We hit OK. We hit OK. Now when I roll over, notice that this room has now jumped and got larger. So there's a distinct relationship between uh, rooms and spaces. And you can see how manipulating rooms and walls, uh, how you can make those things happen. So I hope that, uh, that helped out explaining how uh, spaces work and room boundaries work. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. This tip was sponsored by cadtechseminars.com, or you can find us on the web easily at freerevittraining.com. Thank you.